think we have lethal. Good game. Goodbye, Mr. Reach. I'll see you later. Woo! Those are some good matches, a couple in a row. Absolutely incredible. Here, look at hey everybody, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to watch Hello Good Game straight out of the gate. No, your internet connection's fine. We're recording on the laptop today, so you know the cam quality is pretty poor. My apologies for this. However, I'm making it up to you guys with this brand new Kicking Wizards deck uh, utilizing blue, black, and red, which is the color combination of Grixis. It is a control-based archetype, so we're trying to make the last the mast latch as long as we can. You know, it's not an aggro or mid-range style deck. And uh, again, utilizing the kicker mechanic, which will allow us to get a little bit of extra value out of our cards once we've ramped into them. So we've not seen kicker at all. It's not been competitive. I'm doing my best here today uh, to showcase what I think it has uh, as far as potential. And we're gonna be improving the deck. So if you have any suggestions uh, in the list, leave them in the comments below. And soon we'll be bringing it into Mythic. Again, we're in the best of one play queue today, just testing it, you know, utilizing uh, the ability to play test a deck without tanking our Mythic rank, which is really cool. So let's break down Kicking Wizards within Grixis. Four copies of Roost of Drakes. Now this is one of the main engines in the deck. It does only cost one, we can kick it for three, so a total of four. When it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, create a 2-2 blue Drake creature token with flying. And of course, whenever you kick a spell, create a 2-2 with flying as well. So, you know, you're basically getting a 2-2 for two, uh, which is not bad. And uh, when you're kicking it on top of other Roost of Drakes, it is something that will stack. And of course, your other kicker spells will stack on top of it as well. So, you know, a lot of our spells are control based. We're bouncing things back to our opponent's hand. We're removing them. We're giving ourselves a uh, hex proof. And then this is a, just a general disruption. And while we're doing the general disruption, we'll be creating the Drakes basically for free, uh, which is really cool. So we have four copies of Shell Shield. Speaking of some uh, disruption slash protection for one, instant speed, we could kick it for an additional one, two uh, total there. Target creature you control gets plus zero, plus three until end of turn. If it was kicked, it gains hexproof as well. Um, so, you know, if your opponent has any targeted removal, the hexproof will save it. Any damage space removal, there's a good chance that the plus zero, plus three will save it. Blood Chief's Thirst at sorcery speed, also for one kicker for three, so a total of four. Destroy target creature or planeswalker with converted mana cost two or less. If it was kicked, you can destroy creature or planeswalker regardless of its converted mana cost. Into our two drops, we've got two copies of Shatter Skull, the Hammer Pass. Uh, you know, this is a land coming in tapped unless we pay three life. And on the opposing side, the Smashing for two plus X. Sorcery speed dealing X damage divided as you choose up to among two creatures and or planeswalkers. X is six or more, so a total CMC of eight. Uh, X will be twice that number instead, which is really cool. So, uh, you know, it's a great form of removal and making the deck a little bit more consistent land wise because uh, we are a control deck, so we do want to remove and we are three colors. So we do need uh, to make that land as friendly as possible. Three copies of the Magmatic Chandler. This is our first wizard, a one, three, and as long as there's four or more instants and or sorceries in your graveyard, the Chandler gets plus three, plus one. Discard a card, exile the top two cards of your library, then choose one of them, uh, gaining access to play it this turn. So, you know, that's great because we are actually trying to utilize the discard ability here because it's quite handy. We've got four copies of Cathartic Reunion, Sorcery Speed as an additional cost to cast the spell, discard two cards and draw three cards. So, you know, basically draw one for two. Not great, but uh, you'll see why this shines through in a moment. The Seagate Stormcaller for two, Kicker for five. So a total of seven if you want to kick it. The caller will enter the battlefield and you get to copy the next instant or sorcery with converted mana cost two or less that you cast, which is pretty cool. And then if it was kicked, you get to copy that spell twice instead. And of course, choosing new targets for the copies. Um, again, this is great. We can copy our Blood Chief's Thirst, which is really nice. We can also copy something like Into the Royal. An instant speed for two, return target and online permanent to its owner's hand. And then we can kick it for an additional two, four total to draw a card. Um, so again, a great spell to double up with uh, via our Seagate Stormcaller. Into our three drops, we have three copies of the Coral Helm Chronicler, a 2-2 when it enters the battlefield 
or whenever you kick a spell, draw a card, then discard a card. Uh, or sorry, whenever you cast a kick spell, draw a card, discard a card. Whenever it enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a card with kicker from among them, put it into your hand, the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. So, you know, looking at the top five when it enters is great. Basically, it just replaces itself. And then, of course, whenever you do cast a kick spell, you get to draw a card and then discard a card. And the discard comes in as a key function here with Rael the Everwise for three, zero, three. Enters the battlefield uh, with plus one, plus zero for each instant and sorcery in your graveyard. Um, and that will be adjusted. doesn't enter the battlefield with it, but, uh, you know, we'll just always have that as a static ability. Uh, sorry if there's any confusion there. And whenever you discard one or more card uh, for the first time each turn, draw that many cards. So, you know, you do have to take note that it's only the first time each turn. You can do it on your turn. You can do it on your opponent's turn. That's great. Um, and then you can actually utilize all of the discards. So the Chronicler has a discard that you can utilize. The Magmatic Chandler has a discard you can utilize. The Cathartic Reunion has a discard that you can utilize. So, you know, it's a great way to uh, keep the deck consistently putting out more value in the uh, later turns of the game, which is pretty cool, right? So you're not burning out on turn four, turn five. You're gonna be consistently pouring on uh, damage to your opponent. And then we're finishing it off with two inscriptions of insight sorcery speed for four, kicker for four, total of eight, uh, if you do wanna kick it. And you can choose one, and then if you kick it, you can choose all of them. Return up to two target creatures to their owner's hand, scry two, draw two cards. Target player creates an XX where X is equal to the number of cards in their hand. So that's pretty cool. Uh, obviously, the bouncing two creatures to the opponent's hand is very, very good. And the scry to draw two cards is our next go-to. And if we kick it, we'll take everything. Land. Four Fable Passages, four River Glides, four Clear Waters, five Mountains, three Swamps, four Islands. No sideboard. We're playing best of one. So again, the general strategy is you just apply value, right? Spread it on like it's butter. Uh, this comes through doubling our spells through the Seagate. It comes through kicking all of our other spells, uh, like the Shell Shield, Blood Chief's Thirst, Into the Royal, right? All of these spells can be kicked, even our Inscription if we get there, but that's unlikely. Um, so not only can you kick them, but you can copy them, which is really cool. And then we're cycling through our deck with the Channeler really quickly, with the Chronicler really quickly, and utilizing their discards uh, through Rael the Everwise for even more draw, and uh, the Cathartic Reunion help us do that as well. You could change the reunion if you wanted to the instant speed and then you're utilizing some draw on your opponent's turn as well um we can do that here for you guys uh really quick uh just discard and we're looking for red i thought about this uh it might be a good choice you know just two thrills of possibilities and now you do have the uh, option to do that instant speed as well um again only discarding one card to draw two cards uh so you're not getting as big of a draw but it'll allow you to now draw on your turn and your opponent's turn which is pretty cool. So just uh, maybe making the deck even more consistent there. So that's it. Uh, as far as the strategy goes, you know, get the Roost of Drakes out as soon as you can. Cycle through your deck to find them. And then, you know, get your Wizards out. Just keep trying to cycle for more removals, more bounce, uh, any form of disruption you can. And then, you know, late game, if they have any blockers, try to bounce those back and just hit them with all of your uh, roasted chickens from your Roost of Drakes. Uh, we do have fun today, so again, thank you guys for your time and attention. Sorry about the quality. We're working on the computer for literally 40 hours now straight, trying to get it running. So uh, stay patient with us and enjoy today's gameplay footage. It's as good as ever, and we'll see you soon with our wrap-up thoughts. Peace! Going first is great, and it's actually not that bad. Not great, but it's good enough. Uh, we can passage right out of the gate for an island. We're gonna hold off until you know, our last, well, I guess right here is our last chance. Hola. Good game. All right, let's see what kind of land they pull. I mean, we're pulling a blue regardless, so it doesn't matter, but let's collect all the information we can. White, we know it's not a single color deck, so it's gonna be some form of landfall with Belladar's Retreat. Chandler in play, which is, you know, one of the better two drops right now for red. Good. Got the, ooh, Selesnia token. Let's see. Typically, we would, uh, you know, bounce onto that, and I might still do that. 
I want to double down, so to speak. Nice. Whiff. That sucks. Let's see if we can get another two drop out. Might be three drop and we're screwed. Right? DMC or less. Yeah, we are playing standard today. Grixis Kicker. New prototype deck I'm working on. Yeah, it is going to be able to get blasted here. So, you know, it is big, huge. Don't get me wrong. But still easily. Follow her in play. And here comes the scoop. Two for one special. They gain a bit of life, uh, but that's fine. Let's take our hit for three. We have more removal and we have, uh, you know, some balance. Looking for that fourth land, though. Might have to discard one of our Into the Royals. The Beetle. Can't do it. We have to toss the Channeler. Get the land, what we want. And we played as the wrong source, that's just perfect. Oh, no, we can't kick this. God damn it. I'm still going to kick it. Just so we can get the draw from our Chronicler. Discarding a Royal, just so we can get the second island out. Oh my gosh. It went right in as the Swamp. I mean, I am using an older mouse today, but... This should be no. The Erechner into the Aspirin. Aspirin's good. Let's see where they distinguish that token. It should go on the Erechner. Toss the passage. We'll play the Chronicler. Draws us a card. Blood's Chief's Thirst in the house. In the house! Let's kill his aspirant. No attacks. Still at 20. They're at 15. Four cards on hand. We have two. You have a field advantage, but we all know how quick that can swing. So this is great. The Reef Ooze in play. Should have put the counter on itself, but that's fine. Don't have that second. Absolutely. We're going to toss it to the Royal. Right? If we can't kick it, why well, have it even? Let's take this caller. I don't know if the copy will go through or not. We have to. Um, or two cards. That wouldn't have worked even once. I don't know why I thought I had uh, one spare mana. Still looking for that land, I guess. It's gonna be tricky. I guess we should have taken that red source there. Going wide isn't a bad option here, though, either. Probably just want to kick this as well for the double draw of the Chroniclers. Yeah, we definitely... Oh, no, we can't. We don't have the blue land. That's the whole goddamn ordeal right now. Looking for an island. That's what we're doing. Come on. Come on. Give me something good. One island, sir. They've got instant speed jazz here, it seems. Let's keep bop. Scooby boop bop. Three foos kills the chronicler. We do get the pathway. And play. Take it old school. So that was a good removal. We're gonna, gonna double draw there. Um, smashing can go for now. No 
about tax. We have plenty of blockers. It's gonna get much for them. The Ozlet could save them though. We'll take out the Reef Ooze first. Right, keeping our draw engine alive. The spider's gonna be big, but we're okay. Unless there's more instant speed shenanigans. There is. There is. Nice. There's definitely another inscription here. They should kill the Chronicler. Alright, so at least that gets dealt with. I don't know how we're going to deal with that thing, though. Okay, so a double kick is actually not the worst. It's still not going to be enough. I guess we could hopefully just make a row of chump blockers. Right? Like, if we can make two drakes a turn, and only lose one. Get a little bit of damage in, maybe. We definitely need to hit a kicker every single turn. That hench wins the game. Wow, that's good. The great hench is so good. I like the hench with the Erechner. That's like a good idea. One, two, three, four, five. We'll never be able to kick this. Maybe we just cast it if this goes poorly. Right, we still have a couple. We'll hold on to it for now. No attacks they can defend. Gaining plenty of life. And to be worse, right? To be a scoot swarm. Tear combo. We're down to 25. We can just into the royal this. No attacks. Be on five land. They can go crazy with the Henge at any point if they get some creatures. We're kicking this. Right, that's the Drakes for chump blockers, and that's exactly what we need. Pass our turn here. We can bounce two creatures. Right, that's gonna reset these tokens, but you know. I think just when they are removed, yeah. So all the tokens still go back to the Ozolith. Definitely unpleasant. Right, it's not good. <laughs> Oh, and it fights us, of course. Lovely.
It would just get the fight effect, though. I'm just gonna scry two, draw two. Oh my god, let go of this card. So R.I.L. is pretty tough now, right? It kind of threatens them. The Mentor is good though. Nice. Pushes up the Scourge. You know, gets additional counters from the Henge. Very good. So screwed. <laughs> We've got a good field state though. We're ready to rip. Clean it up a bit. Okay, this is perfect. Can't kick it, right? That's too much, but we can still play it. Killing the Mentor, killing Scourge. gain four life here. Not proud of it. Oh, shucks. <laughs> no attacks. I don't know how to deal with that henge. On the 19. Beetle in play. They're down to 33, so I don't think we're going to kill them. This is crazy. I mean, we do have the chump blockers. There's no trample. Until they get trample, we're fine. We're milling ourselves pretty good here, but we need some utility. Alright, this is our fourth copy of our roast chicken. They have 40 life! <laughs> Great hand is brutal. Who has reach these days? This chump block. They can replay it, which is really bad. Down to 12. I mean, if we can just mill ourselves, I'm kind of proud of that, actually. More drakes.
We have to hit them so many times. We can kick our second shell shield if they think they can block Everwise. Okay, just jump block. They can replay the spider, which sucks. And we do have the protection from their removal, though. Down to nine. Not gonna work. Need a self mill win condition here, maybe. You get to see the deck demonstrated really nicely, though, at least. Our computer reset got to 56% and then said it couldn't do it. Lovely. So spider in play, they're gonna fight something. Just kick it so it can't target it. X proof. We make a bunch more. Right? <laughs> we should be bashing these guys pretty aggressively. They're in a position where they can't really attack. I guess they can. Our turn. I don't even know what else we have left in the deck. Draw it all here. <laughs> the plot thickens. I think we have lethal. Good game. Goodbye, Mr. Reach. I'll see you later. Woo! Those are some good matches, a couple in a row. Absolutely incredible. We were looking for those into the Royals and we got them. They were just on the very bottom of our deck. All right. Wishing for better luck here. I like it. We need to keep in mind that if we're kicking this, we need two swamps. We also need two mountains for the smashing, and we need two islands if we're kicking anything with an island. Easy, right? Two swamps, two islands, two mountains. Shouldn't be hard. Where's the Grixis Triome, ladies and gentlemen? I'd love that. Ooh. Ooh. Lost our roast chicken. just eat it. Opt is fine. The sooner we can get Rahal out, the better. Smashing in play, tapped. Don't pull anything. Nope. Rahal can be discarded at some point, or we have two copies if there's removal, but mono blue might counter it. Otherwise, they're just bouncing. Boodle is just great. They're milling our instances of sorceries, which is good for us. Right? Makes Royale stronger. Makes the channeler uh, stronger. Plus three, plus one. Okay, so they tossed an unsummon. Just get in play. 
That mill is disgusting. Teferi's too allegedly. Cool card. We're up to 5-3 though, so they do have to deal with the Everwise. Inventory draws. We mill two again. They're gonna bounce us here. Most of the bounce should be instant speed though. Or mill up to seven. Now they've got a blocker. Take a draw. Take our roost. Get that in play. Kill the zero four. Up to eight, down to 34. Into the story is a massive draw. A even bigger mill for 10. Wow. If only we had a fling. for two. 25 cards left. I don't want to thin our library so the passage can just sit there. Here's another two cards. They milled us for 12 last turn. Here's another four cards. Total for six. Down to three mana. Crab is fine. Oh, nice. Are you serious? There's another six. Crab is not fine. LOL. That's ridiculous. We need something to bounce the crab so Rael can smash. That's another giant mill for, what, six? Yep. Yeah. Seven cards left. Oh, and they get another chump blocker. Which they can sack for a draw. That's psycho. Perfect. Perfect. I want to cast this for two. We bounce the crap. Poppy bounces the robber. They draw a card, we mill two down to one, and we hit for lethal. That was close. Down to the last card. We hit for 20. <laughs> nice. Going first, three land, how can you really complain? Do we play this passage first? We're not really dropping. Or are we gonna need to bounce their first plays? Obviously, Into the Royal has very little uh, power opening up the game, and the longer on the game goes, the more effective it becomes. Uh, like, if you can think of all things in mana conversion, if I spend one mana or two mana to push a one mana back, uh, I've lost some value here. Uh, we will take a black source here, making sure our bases are covered. Fix and play. I'll hail the roast chicken. They've got uh, turkey dinner over here. <laughs> oh gosh. Sure. 
right? Big woofs. Chronicler can start drawing us cards and you know, hopefully we can just outvalue them. We've got Into the Royal, Blood Chief's Thirst, lots of cool stuff. Big talk. Rule in play. Is it going to be mutate? Are they going to mutate onto this thing? Uh, migratory great horn in our near future? Capped, but oh no, just an ooze. An ooze. That's fine. Uh, third land in play. Chronicler for the draw. Fourth land, we can kick. Uh, if we draw another island, that, that might be a problem. <laughs> Yep. Removal on El Uzo. No matter how big it gets, it's still a 2 CMC. So that's going to be fun for us. Chronicler, again, just pulls whatever we want. So good. Whether it's a creature with kicker, uh, a spell. Oh, and it is the Great Horn. I knew it. My crystal ball was glowing green. Right? And these big wooden antlers coming out of it. Um, are you serious, bro? We're gonna take the trade and we're just gonna kick our blood chief first. Go the double down here. Uh, let's get that second uh, island in play. Kick this. Oh, you fool. Uh, the kicker cost is blocked as well. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. I guess we could instant speed this. right now well, there's no protection right I don't know if they've got a heroic intervention or not so let's just push both of those cards back can't believe we played this as an island and not a swamp I need I wanted the second island for these other kickers but uh, for that scenario we definitely wanted the swamp so a little misplay there they get the creatures back to their hands they get to replay get another food get another land make good times what fun we're having what I will do, though, that we didn't kick it is we're just going to double down with the uh, Seagate, right? That's really good value here, and they've got nothing to mutate onto. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You stop it. Take the best spell in the game. Double it. <laughs> it's pretty good value for three. Right, get a 2-1 and remove two creatures. Stop it. And that opens things up quite nicely for us. Let's back some land. If for two in the air, gain three life. We might. Up to 21. Like it didn't even happen. A big hand though, that's oh, not good. Nice. We need it into the royal. Or we wait a turn and destroy it. Wait a turn and destroy it or just bounce it? Wait a turn and destroy it. Nice. Um, we can still deal with it, but goodness gracious, that's going to be unpleasant. Did they play a land here for six? Nice. Very nice. They should heal the Stormcaller unless they know the Nether Scoot's coming in play. If they play a land and mutate the Great Horn onto the Scoot, it's game. And we should have bounced it. Right. This is unpleasant, but... I don't know if they dropped a land yet or not. I don't think they did, because they had to play this last turn for five, so this turn's for six. So Scoot Swarm in play, you know, dealing the damage to something, and now they mutate. If they have another land in hand, that's going to be what this all relies on. If they have 
one of these three cards be a land, that's game. It's a Fable Passage. I'm gonna, you know, go watch Teletubbies or something. <laughs> Paw Patrol. Set my brain. You know, they might just be trying to fake us out, and that's not uncommon. It's like any sane person would leave this match because, you know, they drop a land and that's game. But if they don't have that land, I'm ready to smash, right? So let's see if they've got a land or not. And then they just mutate and they've gone. So we definitely should have bounced it. Because they get uh, multiple scoops. There's nothing we can do here. We have to kill the terror. They've still got enough power to slay us. That might work. Oh, and we don't have that second swamp. Jesus Christ. Good game. Pardon my language. Alrighty, let's get after it. The hand does not look bad. Opponent goes first. Sucks. We do have Merc Water plus our Blood Chief's Thirst. Can't believe that guy drinks blood. Shout out to Remy MTG for making me laugh almost every single day. Check the channel out. Will not regret it. Let's just uh, roost it up, baby. One roost chicken, please. <laughs> uh, good jokes. Another, uh, is it matchup? Interesting. Interesting. Order another roost chicken. Negate? A negator? I'd be actually terrified to live in somewhere that had gators. Every time you try to cast a non creature spell, this big negator comes up and chomps at you. <laughs> what we need is a red source, lol. Uh, not the worst thing though, this could come in. We'll grab a kicker. Chronicler. Comes in, replaces itself with a draw. Pretty cool. If we can get one, that is. Oh, it's immediately stepped on, though. TB still triggers into the Royal to our hands. Into the Royal is not a great combo with the Giant because, you know, they get to use Stomp, play the Giant, deal two damage when we bounce it, and then deal two damage again, plus get their Giant. See how that can be bad. Um, that's fine, though. We're going to make our very first... Roast chicken. Two two. Feed you and two friends. Maybe not right now during COVID. Solo, but. Great value. Where else are you gonna get lunch that cheap? It's been a long day. We gotta have some fun today. We gotta do something. Uh, pulling their spells, right? That's fine with me. What would we bounce? So this is instant speed, so let's hold on to it. And worst case scenario, we're gonna cast and kick our roost. Maybe they try to buff this up and we bounce it. <laughs> yeah, let's just kick it old school anyways. So this is before the defenders are being declared, so they have to interact with it here. Don't. And they play it, and we're about to kick it old school. Let me try to pull the block first. Because if I can kill it organically, that's best. Trial and play. And we nuke the bird. Uh, leftover chicken's fine as well. All right, heat that up for a little bit. You'll be okay. And we actually have protection um, damage wise um so right here perfect damage wise protection we're not kicking it which is sad but we do definitely need to protect Ryle 
uh, as a priority. They could gator us again. Oh my gosh. That is Florida's finest. They're top decking. Um, again, this is instant speed. We'll save this, and if there's nothing to do, get on that. Any our library with the passage. Typically, we like to save a little bit of land to discard with our channeler, but in our library, take that point zero three percent different our draw. <laughs> Uh, we're fine. Like, it doesn't matter what we Oh, no, we needed a second red source. Idiot! And they didn't do anything, so we're gonna pick this, bounce this. It triggers it before it bounces it. So we get the 2-2 out of it. Plus we get the draw. That's gonna be land we need, and now we can kick this back into play again. Uh, so we're getting a lot of value here out of just a few cards. And we're ready to kick our shield shell if there's any removal, and we have our own removal. So let's just push through the last matches or fast last few turns. Two cards in hand. We have protection plus another two two. Just take our turn. I don't want to discard both of those, but let's just push it, push it real good. <laughs> and we have lethal next turn. We pushed through quite a bit of uh, power there. Turn. Game and we get another Thardic Reunion, which is really good with Rael. And uh, Arsenal victories in play queue. All right, quick wrap up thoughts. I think the deck is really cool. It's original. I've not seen Grixis Kicker yet. I think it's relatively competitive, but I think that you have to go on such thin ice to get there, which is pretty risky biscuits, right? Uh, you know, even a single uh, pebble thrown can uh, send you <laughs> drowning. Um, what do you guys think of the deck? Let me know in the comments. What would you add? What would you change? Stuff like this. Again, thanks for your time and attention. Support financially by joining the YouTube membership program. Gain access to exclusive content and uh, much, much more. So again, thank you. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next.